I have a couple records that I'd like to share with you. Um, there are a couple records from a company called We Release Whatever the F We Want. Um, and they have a series which is called the We Release Jazz series. Um, I recently picked up these two records. The first one that I got was Cat, Hiroshi Suzuki, which is uh, apparently Hiroshi Suzuki is a is it was is a trombone player, and um, this one is um, Rio uh, Fukui or Fukui or something Fukui, I think. Um, he's a jazz pianist. So I picked up these two records. The first one that I picked up was this one, which is uh, Hiroshi Suzuki Cat. Uh, I'm just going to spoil this for the outlet, right? This is an incredible record, and I highly recommend. If you don't have this already, you need to hear it, stream it somewhere, listen to it. And then this is a no brainer. Just pick it up. I'm here in Canada. This record was 46 bucks plus tax, I think, or 52 bucks plus tax, um, something like that. Um, I, I w have been after this record for a while and it does not disappoint. The music is fantastic. It's uh, a lot of it is 70s infused jazz fusion. Um, there's some like mid-tempo stuff and then some down-tempo, really chill vibe. Um, I would kind of say this is very influenced by Herbie Hancock's 1970s stuff. Um, in the rhythm section, like in the bass, in the drums, and in the keyboards. I believe there's keyboards on this. Let me take a look. Um, yes. Trombone was Hiroshi Suzuki. Keyboards, I believe, was his brother, Hiromasa Suzuki. That's cool. Um, bass, drums, and saxophone. This is a no-brainer. Um, I was surprised. I think that it's sourced from digital. But I'm surprised at how incredible this record sounds. The sound design is just fantastic. So um, apparently... It was mastered and half-speed cut. I don't really care too much about half-speed cutting, but it was mastered by Sidney Claire Meyer at Emil Berliner Studios and manufactured at Optimal. So we all know Optimal is uh, one of the better pressing plants. Now, Sidney, Sidney Claire Meyer seems like somebody, like uh, someone who masters for vinyl, Right? This is someone to keep our eyes out on. I, I'm certainly keeping my eyes out because um, if you're someone who collects vinyl, especially jazz reissues, you're probably very familiar with the work of Kevin Gray, um, Ryan K. Smith, and Bernie Grunman. She could be, she could be next. Um, I did see somewhere peripherally that she used to work with Kevin Gray or at the, she, is, was associated with Kevin Gray in some capacity. So I don't really know the story there, um, but that is an amazing sounding record. So the music is incredible and the mastering for vinyl is also great. Um, comes with a 350 GSM plastic sleeve. So the sleeve is actually nice. I switched it to, you know, my MoFi inner sleeve, which I always do. Um, but the sleeve is actually pretty good. And there's gold ink. I don't know what that means. Is that even like a real thing? Is that, are they talking about the ink like on the label or like on the record? Does that cost more if it's gold colored ink on the album cover? Who knows? Here's the other one. Because this was so amazing, I'm like all about this We Release Jazz series. So I looked into it a little bit more and I saw that, um, we release whatever the F we want, that label. They also um, they also released a number of, of volumes by Rio uh, Fukui. Um, and this one is a live, a live performance. So it says here, the album was recorded on January 25th and 26th, 2015 at Sapporo Jazz Club Slow Boat, which is a venue founded by Rio Fukui. So that's cool. Um, Love the album cover, love the OB, everything looks good. I will say this one did not come with the same high quality sleeve. It came with a really thick um, 
paper cover and it was kind of it did leave some residue on the uh, on the vinyl so I had to clean it a little bit and, and that was that so this is quite a bit older I think this was released in 2020 and this released in 2021 so I think they're getting their really kind of refining their process this we release jazz series in this we release jazz series so yeah this was number eight limited and this one is number 10 limited i don't know how many it's limited to there's no serial number no yeah no serial number like mofi mofi will do the you know on the back they do the the serial number this one is uh an interesting performance the sound quality doesn't come anywhere close to this one over here, okay? Um, yeah, this, uh, A Letter from Slowboat, it's called. A Letter from Slowboat by Rio Fukui. 2016 was, I believe, when it was recorded or pressed or something like that. Um, really nice music. Pressing, pretty good. The mastering, so-so. So I wouldn't wholeheartedly recommend this unless you're like a We Release Jazz completist or you're just a huge fan of Rio Fukui. Um, if you like to listen in the background, this is kind of like, I like to listen in the background sometimes, not just like sit in the sweet spot and like see all the imaging of the different musicians and all that stuff. It's pretty good. So two releases from We Release whatever the F we want on their We Release Jazz series. This one is absolutely incredible. I recommend it without any reservations. If you see it, if you can find it, my advice, just pick it up while you can. Um, this one, I mean, given the opportunity again, I probably wouldn't buy it. Um, but in the future, I get the sense that I might be happy that I did. Because Rio Fukui is definitely First of all, I have to learn how his name is pronounced. But other than that, definitely a really interesting um, pianist and a protege of famous American jazz pianist, Barry Harris. And I'm a really big fan of Barry Harris and the Barry Harris Trio. Um, so that's really it. That's all, all that I really wanted to, to uh, walk through today. I wanted to give my recommendation. Um, otherwise, hope you have an awesome day. And uh, see you in the next one.